Hey guys, welcome back to Shane's Getting Handy. Today we're installing an intercooler on my air compressor. So the idea today is to reduce the temperature coming out of the compressor head going into the tank and hopefully we can get some of the water to drop out of the uh, air before it gets into the tank. So to accomplish all this, the idea is we interrupt the air out of the compressor head. We send it through our intercooler right here. Uh, of course the fan will blow across that, cool down all of the hot air that's been compressed. And before it goes into the uh, tank here, we're going to run it through the water separator. And that will hopefully collect all the water before it gets into the tank. That's a theory anyway. Before we do anything though, I'd rather run a pressure test, uh, I mean a fill test to see how long it takes to uh, fill up as is. And hopefully we're not putting too much res restriction on it with what we're adding. So I'm going to get to taking this thing apart. I pre-ordered all kinds of fittings for this. Now I don't know if I got them all right, but we're going to find out. Oh, there we go. Not too big of a deal. I thought that was supposed to slip in a little bit better. Soldering that together is going to be... Mm, yeah. I don't know. I guess we can try it and see. All right, let's install a fan. I'm not sure that's enough, but we're gonna try it. It's even got a swivel. Like, this is such a good fitting. All right, I got it temporarily rigged up. Uh, off camera, I was cutting these, just stuffing them in on the ends. I'd already done all the plumbing, so. Um. <laughs> all right, all the way from zero. Let's see how we go. That's not much different. A couple seconds, maybe. So the beautiful thing about these clear lines, you can actually see what's happening. This one is blazing hot, by the way. Uh, I've been running it a little bit, trying to see it work, but it's collecting water already. You can see right there. So obviously, compressed air comes out of here, runs through the cooler, cools it down, water condenses inside, the water gets pushed through here, and ideally all of it gets trapped in here. A little bit's coming through. Maybe I need a bigger water-air separator. I'm sure I do. This one's pretty tiny. But it's still working pretty good, just a little bit's coming back up through into the tank. In ideal world, you cool this down all the way, all the water separates out, drops in here, and none of it gets into the tank. And I guess in a super ideal world, you even run a cooler uh, below ambient and drop out even more water out. So it's just super cool, uh, super dry air coming into the tank. But this is kind of the cheap way to do it, I guess. Okay. 